Williamson is coming back to New Orleans for year four, and he's doing it on a new long-term contract. That contract reportedly contains a clause that allows the Pelicans to take away guaranteed money based on his weight and body fat percentage. Join us to discuss what's new in that contract extension. Let's get started. Contract Extension Zion Williamson's new max contract extension with the New Orleans Pelicans contains a weight clause. He will have a periodic weigh-in throughout the course of the deal, and if his weight plus body fat percentage is above 295, he could lose all the money. Williamson's deal was reported to be a five-year, $193 million contract with escalators that could push it to $231 million. The much-discussed weight clause in his contract extension will only cost him money in the unlikely event the Pelicans waive him. If things ever get to that point, a lot of other things would have gone wrong. The Pelicans made a Joel Embiid-style bet on Zion and his health with his extension. Much like the injury clause in Embiid contract, this one protects the team if things go very poorly. The weight clause states that Zion must keep the sum of his weight and body fat percentage below 295. If not, the guaranteed money in his contract decreases. However, that doesn't mean his checks get smaller. So long as the checks are coming, he receives the full max amount. The clause means that if the Pelicans ever waive him, Zion's guaranteed money he is still owed would be smaller. He reportedly weighed in north of 300 pounds while he was injured. Last summer, he suffered a foot injury, underwent surgery, and the Pelicans made the injury even more mysterious by not disclosing it until the start of training camp and then giving multiple timelines for when he could be back. He has been pushing closer to playing again, but later he suffered another setback when soreness in his foot delayed his full return to practice. He just showed up to New Orleans' game against the Houston Rockets and watched his team lose 118-108. to And even when he was off court, he was still the biggest talking object after the game. Of course, it's hard to stay in shape when you have a fractured fifth metatarsal bone in your right foot like Williamson did. It's not like you can do cardio with that type of injury. When he reported to training camp, he was well above 300 pounds, so he missed the entirety of his third season and was cleared to play without restrictions in May. Williamson should be poised for a monster year if he can stay healthy. He proved he was already one of the best players in the world during his second season. The West looks loaded again, but you can make a case for the Pelicans to rise as high as the number four seed next season behind the Warriors, Clippers, and the Nuggets. Since the Pelicans drafted Williamson number one overall in 2019, he has struggled to stay in shape. Williamson played only nine minutes in the summer league before his rookie year. He was shut down after bumping knees with a player on the New York Knicks. His poor conditioning played a part in New Orleans' decision to sit him out for the remainder of Summer League. Afterward, former Duke coach Mike Krzyzewski said that he didn't think Williamson should have played at all. He's been on the circuit of awards, the ESPYs, everything. I don't think he is in the playing shape or the mental shape to play, he said. Williamson was listed at 285 pounds in his loan season at Duke and has been listed at 284 pounds with the Pelicans. To improve his conditioning, Williamson has been working with Jasper Bibbs, a personal trainer who spent five seasons with the Utah Jazz, and Christian Green, a Dillard University alumnus who is a private chef. Definitely getting him in tip-top shape. My boy says he wants the league MVP this year. I see it. I believe it. I believe Zion is going to be the face of the NBA once LeBron James retires. I believe it. I see it. Just getting him in great health. He's in great health now, but once this season starts, he's going to be in even better health," Green said in an interview earlier this month. The Pelicans hope that adding a healthy and motivated Williamson to their core will allow them to build off their surprise playoff run last season. After an injury-riddled start to his NBA career, Williamson appears to have taken steps towards improving his diet and conditioning. The contract he signed earlier this month gives him financial incentives to do so. It was a tough year. For the Pelicans to give me this birthday gift, I'm not going to let them down. I'm not going to let my family down. I'm not going to let the city down. And most importantly, I'm not going to let myself down. The ultimate goal is to win a championship. That's what we're all striving for. We're hungry," Williamson said after signing his extension on July 6th. 
The last few months were a roller coaster of emotions. The world just ran with narratives, and so when my family was going out in public, they were getting harassed by people about why we don't like New Orleans or why we don't want to be here, when that's not the case at all. I wasn't able to play because my foot was broken. Every time I checked my phone, it was always something negative. Even when I tried to make positive of the situation, it was very tough," he explained. From what I've heard, it truly bothers him because people use his apparent weight gains in the past as proof that Williamson doesn't like to work or doesn't care about doing what's necessary to be great," William Gilroy reported, noting that it's not about people making fat jokes, which he's dealt with throughout his career. Earlier, Charles Barkley expressed his own worries about Williamson's health. I'm concerned. I am really concerned. You should not get hurt when you're young. He's already had surgeries on his leg. Now he's got a broken foot. You're going to have to learn even when you're hurt, you're going to have to control your eating. When guys get hurt, when they come back, you're trying to get in shape. And if you're putting all that stress on your knees and your feet, you're just going to keep getting hurt," Barkley said. Barkley was clearly worried about Zion's chances of having a lengthy NBA career, and as big as a guy himself, he had some simple diet advice for Zion. I'm going to put Zion on that diet that I was on at one point. If it tastes good, spit it out. We joke around, but we want this kid to get healthy because he's got so much talent. Seems like a great kid. But the Pelicans got to put their foot down. You're going to make a billion dollars if you can just get your weight under control," he said. Barkley, who's known as the mound round of rebound, dealt with weight issues himself throughout his NBA career. It might be harsh, but Barkley's advice might be exactly what Williamson needs right now. How many people around me would have told me I was fat and lazy? Because, you know, when you're in the limelight, most of the people around you are enablers. You're paying all the bills, you're buying all the meals, literally. They're not going to say, yo man, you're going to eat your way out of the NBA. I would sit him down and say, yo man, they're giving money away to bums who can't play. You have got so much talent. You could be the best player in the NBA," Barkley explained. And we agree with him. Every NBA player needs to find a way to stay healthy and play consistent minutes. That must be the priority, don't you think so? After all, the Pelicans with Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, Jonas Valanciunas, Devontae Graham, Herb Jones, Larry Nance Jr., and other quality role players could make some noise in the West this season. They've got a big talent, and a combination of coach Willie Green and McCollum has provided great direction and leadership. There should definitely be genuine hope in New Orleans. What do you think about Zion Williamson's contract extension? Let us know in the comments down below.